Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Thanks for watching again. We're going to solve this problem for P. And to do that, we're going to have to multiply the negative 15 times 5. So just to reiterate, this is a negative 15 times 5 times P equals 300. Now we don't usually show multiplication between parentheses or between numbers and letters like this. But since all of this is multiplication, there's no addition or subtraction, we can write it all together. We'll multiply these two. We've got negative 15 times 5. We know the answer is negative because there's an odd number of negatives, 1. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 would give us 7. So this now is a negative 75p equals 300. Now, in order to solve for p, we need it by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by a negative 75. And how many negative 75s go into 300? It looks to me like we would get uh, a fraction out of that, so let's go ahead and simplify that. 75 is divisible by 25, so it's 300. So 300 divided by 25. That gives us 12, and divided by that 75 divided by 25 is 3. Well, from here we know that uh, 12 divides by 3, and that would give us there negative 4. So P equals negative 4 in this problem, and again, you should go back and check to make sure that it gives us a true statement, which it does. Now, some of you may not have done it that way, and that's all right, too. Once you get to this point... Some of you may have just done 300 divided by 75, knowing that the answer is negative. And if you did that, you would have gotten 4 anyway. So <clears throat> uh, if you did it that way, that's fine. Uh, as long as your answer is negative 4 and you show your work.